going to use our TI-83 Plus to generate some random numbers and work with them. What you want to do is go across to Math, and at the top here you're going to see the last one is PRB for Probability, and the very first thing here is RAND for Random. What this will do is generate numbers that are between 0 and 1, and it'll give you 10 digits in the form of a decimal. So once we're there, we're going to press Enter. One thing you will notice, this calculator was reset to factory default. And the very first thing that you see here is this certain number, and you will see that on every single TI-83 and TI-84. So to avoid this, what you can do is put something called a seed. On the understanding that no calculator is able to generate a truly random number, a seed guarantees that you're going to get a different set of random numbers each time. So we're going to go down here and we're going to pick a number. You can pick a birth date, you can pick the date, you can do anything. I'm going to put number 12 as my seed and I'm going to use store and I'm going to store it in random. So I want to go up to math again, cross to the probability, I'm already on random, I'm going to store it there and just to check I'll press enter and it tells me my 12 is there. So this time I'm going to go to math cross to probability and choose my random. Every time I enter I am going to get a different sequence of numbers here. There are going to be 10 digits up here. If you only see 8 of them, 9 of them, it's because there are zeros on the end and it has truncated that. You can use this in a number of different ways. You can, if, for example, if you just want a few different numbers, three of them, you can use the first three digits, the second three digits, the last one. Um, Let's say you want a series of 10-digit numbers, but you would like them between certain values. In that case, you can go to Math, across to Probability, get your random again, and on the home screen, we are going to go between 0 and, for example, 15. Use the multiplication symbol, put in your upper value, hit Enter, and now what you're going to get is 10-digit numbers with a decimal, somewhere between them, and they will go anywhere between 0 and 15. Okay, what if we want to do something with those numbers? Okay, let's say we want to do this. I'm going to clear, and let's say we want to generate a list of random numbers and we would like to store them somewhere. So let's come across to here. We'll go to probability again. We'll hit enter, and this time we are going to, for example, generate a list of 10 numbers. So I'm going to hit bracket, 10, close my bracket, and let's say I want those numbers to be between 0 and 15 again. So I'm going to put my multiplication symbol and my upper limit, and now what am I going to do with these? I want to store them in list 1. So I'm going to go to store, up here I'm going to go to second, down here to list one and I will hit enter. I can see right here it's generated a whole bunch of numbers and let's check and make sure that they are in list one. So to do that there are different ways but I'm going to go to stat, leave it at edit, go down to enter and sure enough I see all of my numbers right here and I can go down and check these and they are all in there.